my friends to On The Go Devo, Alito United Methodist Church's message in a moment for busy disciples. I'm grateful that we can share these few moments together because, well, we can't actually be together today. And that's exactly what this time is designed for, to keep us connected as a family of faith. And so this is family time. Today we're beginning our stewardship series for the fall, and I know what you're thinking. Ugh, stewardship. We're going to spend the next three weeks talking about money. And to some extent we are. And you're thinking, this is all so I will make a pledge and give more money to the church. And again, to some extent you're right. At the end of these three weeks on November 15th, we'll come together for Commitment Sunday and each will have an opportunity to make our pledge to be a part of the financial life of the church in 2016. And finally, you're thinking, Lee's going to drone on and on about how God wants me to give more, how I'll feel better and more spiritual if I give more, and so on. And that's where you're wrong. I think there's a lot to be said for those arguments. I found that in the course of my faith life, that as Melissa's and my decision to be a part of the financial covenant that we share has grown, so is our faith. But it's not a quid pro quo thing. God doesn't reward us for giving. Instead, as we have become more committed to our church family, we felt a greater sense of, sense of ownership and belonging in that family. And as we grow together closer to Christ, we have grown together in Christ. And in that, we have been blessed. But that's not the point of this series, because I believe anyone who has made the commitment to grow into a tithe, biblically 10% of your income, will tell you that the blessing and growth that comes from that commitment has to be experienced rather than explained. And so in keeping with our commitment to be real with each other, to truly exist at the intersection of faith and life, I want to share with you why I choose to invest my gifts here rather than somewhere else. And I want to share with you what I see in terms of the way God is moving and breathing into this place and how that movement changes lives. Our series is called Loving, Knowing, Serving. And I suspect those words are familiar to you. They are the foundation of the mission statement of Alito United Methodist Church. They are our why, why we're here, why we exist, to encourage, inspire, and equip each other to love, know, and serve our God. But what does that look like really? How do we exist to love God as a church? And as I pondered that, I was drawn to Jesus' words in the 14th chapter of John's Gospel. It's Jesus' farewell to his disciples, his parting words as he prepares for his arrest and eventual death. And he says this, They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Now, do you hear the progression there? Those who choose to love Christ will be blessed by Christ revealed to them. In fact, some translations render that as Christ will be manifest in them. In other words, the more we choose to love Christ, the more others will see Christ in us. It's quite possibly the easiest evangelism we ever do. And really, it makes sense, doesn't it? It's the same reason that we invest in our kids, right? It's why you might be watching this video right now. Because you've invested your time and your money in sports or cheer or scouting or, or any number of activities for your children because you believe that by investing in those activities, you will help your child realize his or her true potential. And as that happens, you as a parent will begin to really discern who they are and what your role in that identity truly is. And that's why we do what we do as a church. It's why many of you choose to invest not only your time, but your money as well. Because when we come together and together choose to love God through worship, through prayer, through ministries like Reality Check, and, and even through this On The Go Devo, we are growing as a people. Christ is revealing himself to us, and others are seeing Christ in us, and a kingdom is forming. And so today I simply want to encourage you to begin praying about your investment in Lido United Methodist Church and perhaps discuss with your family how that investment of your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness play a role in Christ being revealed in your life. But first, let me invite you to pray with me. Gracious God, we give you thanks on this day. We give you thanks for hearts that are equipped to love you. And God, we pray that, that those hearts might be overflowing with desire, that we truly might choose you, to 
choose your son and to have your son manifest to become real in our lives. This we pray in his name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. And God bless you all. Some days I'm feeling like I can't win, can't get it right. And don't matter how hard I try, today is not my day. When it feels like I'm going crazy and it looks like nothing's changing, come sun.